Hi, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to do a basic introduction on how to store and manage your contacts on your Samsung phone. I'm going to include at least two of the software variants, including the latest Samsung Galaxy phones uh, and other phones actually that work on UO, UI5 uh, and also some of the older models. And these are my recommendations that I've found to be very effective over the years. Uh, you may want to use your own or look into it a bit more, but this is what I highly recommend. So let's firstly go into the contacts and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Now here I'm going to be demonstrating on the latest UA5 uh, operating Android system 13. As you can see. UI version 5, Android version 13. So now what you do is go to the contacts, uh, not the phone application, but the contacts application built into your phone, which is here. And let me go over here. So these are these are my contacts in alphabetical order and I recommend you store them on your Gmail account. Why do I recommend that? A number of reasons. Firstly, that means every time you add or delete a contact it's automatically updated and synced with the cloud. So again, what does that mean? If you lose your phone, drop your phone, smash your phone, and your contacts are probably one of the most important things that you have. They're all your friends, family, etc., 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 all stored in one place. Like the old days, I think they used to call them phone books, if you remember them, or even Rolodexes. Of course, showing my age here. Anyway, if they're stored in the cloud with Google Contacts, the two big advantages are number one, you can go to your PC or Mac, sign into the same Google account, and then you go to Google Contacts on your PC or Mac, and you will see all the contacts that you had on your phone. So they're there. Very, very nice, convenient. Uh, you don't have to worry about anything being lost. Secondly, if you decide to change phones to a different brand, any brand at any given stage, it doesn't have to be a Samsung again, you can just then choose your default storage as your Gmail account, and then everything will automatically download and sync thereafter. So that's the two or three main uh, uh, advantages there. Sure, you could store them on your Samsung account, but that could be a bit limiting. You have to back up. I don't believe there's any way you can see those immediately on a PC. Uh, and that way you're also limited to a Samsung phone to an extent. By also, let me just show you here. So as you can see where I'm pointing, that's my Gmail account. What you do from here, you tap the three dots here, manage contacts, and I'll also explain the groups in a second. If you delete any contacts, they are stored in your trash account for 30 days, just to let, let, let you know. So if you made a mistake, you can actually obviously withdraw them. Now, say you want to do this, what you've got to do then is export your contacts or move your contacts rather to, I'll just show you, here I've got nothing I know in my Samsung account, but I know I have nothing in my phone. I'll just show you, no contacts found. But my SIM 2, uh, that's my SIM where, I can, where you can store some information. This is the old fashioned days, but it's very limited what you can store. But this is really where your carrier information is stored. So if you have in America, uh, T-Mobile, Verizon, that's where all that's stored on your SIM card. Now, if I wanted to move all those, I go there and done. And now I could move them to my Gmail account here. I'm not going to do that. I don't need to do that. These are contacts I don't actually need. So, and to make sure all this is working fine, I then will press plus to add a new contact. 
and you'll notice at the top that is my Gmail account so I know it's automatically now being stored in my Gmail account which is exactly what I want three horizontal lines you tap on that top right there you've got the little icon uh, settings under contacts that is and now you can trip uh, you can actually edit this accordingly trash as I mentioned it keeps the contacts 30 days you can sort your contacts by first or last name format f first and last you can show the people you contacted frequently in the last 30 days now this one I recommend you have tick because then if they have say what's up uh, Skype, it will actually show you in your contacts uh, the little icon so you can see they are available on those third party options. Um, and I think that covers that aspect of it. I'm now going to show you again on the latest UI5, on the latest uh, Samsung phones, how you can change the video background and sound of everyone individually that phones you. So in this case, it be my girlfriend and you'll see what happens when she phones me. Now in this case I got my phone on vibrate mode, but this always makes me laugh. This was a little video I did using some AI. Uh, so subscribe to the channel if you want how to do these kind of special effects as well. So how you do this, I went to the information, I go to information, again using Google Photos, you do, sorry, using Google Contacts, but you do not need to download any third party app in order to use Google Contacts, it's built into your phone. So here you scroll down, and you can, you can see all the other information you can have here, and call background with sound, Tap on that. I gotta press edit, mother. Go to cool background with sound, and then you can choose a video up to 15 seconds long by choosing the background. Choose any background you want. Uh, in this case, I chose that one, 15 second video. Uh, fantastic. Next thing I'm gonna show and share with you is this which is quite nice as well. Using your phone application, regular phone application, go to, these are my contacts, but you cannot manage your contacts from the phone application on the Samsung phone. You go to your two recent calls, keypad, and you can assign each one of these numbers to a contact of your choice. This is quite a, an old thing, but most people have forgotten about it. So if I press number two, for instance, I can assign a contact. So it's called speed dials. Equally, if I just tap on, uh, okay, t it also, if I press T, it's going to recognize people with those letters. So T-A-Y, and it comes up accordingly. Uh, so you can actually use it like the old-fashioned phones, if you remember them, uh, and use it this way to go through your contacts if you've got thousands and thousands of contacts. So if I put down, let's say, Stephen, S, just tap 1 for S, S, T for number 8 for T, E for, uh, sorry, 3 for E, and you're, eventually a Stephen will come up, I'm sure. Um, and as you'll see, Stephen, Stevens and all the phone numbers. Obviously, I blurred out a lot of information, so but hopefully you can still get to get the gist of this. If you're using any other Samsung phone which has not been updated, uh, this should also work. So you go find your contacts, find your contacts, which are all here. You can see they're stored on my Gmail account here, so they're synced automatically. But what you do here, in many ways, it's actually easier on the old software than the new one the three horizontal lines at the top 
Uh, you can see I've got 2,006 contacts. I've got nothing in my Samsung account, nothing on my phone. I do not have a SIM card on this one, but I've got 1,956 contacts in my Google account. Those other ones are miscellaneous uh, and they're from the old carrier, so they're not included. So that's exactly what I want uh, here. And what I can do here, uh, manage account, and now I could move them from my phone to my Gmail account, etc., etc. But here, as you can see, it's a lot easier. It says default storage location. And then you just change it to whatever one you want. Very, very easy. Uh, on the newer phones, they seem to have excluded that, but it shows you that on the top and I'll install, I'll put a photograph there showing you what I mean right now. Um, some of the other features you cannot use that I mentioned earlier. But if you go to contacts, this is the contact where you cannot have the same control. But you've got the speed number, dial setting, you've got the same again. You've got the frequently contacted, everything else works pretty much the same. I like to have photographs where possible of people. So I think when they phone that you can instantly recognize them. You think, oh, who's that? Uh, which is great. Um, hopefully you found this video of use. If you did, I would really would recommend uh, you sharing this. I'm trying to get my subscriptions up and my view counts. Uh, it really helps the channel, encourages me to do more of these kind of 101 uh, teaching videos. So thanks again. Take care. See you soon.